Hi, welcome to our instructional video on how to properly cut a paddle. The first thing you're going to want to know is how tall the person is that you are cutting the paddle for. Ideally, you'd like a paddle to be 8 to 10 inches above a person's head. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to get all of your materials together, your tools together. Obviously, we need the carbon fiber paddle. We have the handle to the paddle. We have the rubber piece that goes over the paddle and the handle together once epoxied on. I have a pipe cutting tool, a, a typical plumber's pipe cutting tool. Steel wool, don't make it too coarse. A straw, uh, a paper plate, five minute marine type epoxy, you can get it at any hardware store. A tape measure, a marker, and paper towels or napkins. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the the handle. You need to know how much the handle is because the whole entire paddle needs to be again 10 inches longer uh, than the person's head, higher than the person's head. So when I measure this it turns out that from the base of the handle to the top it's about two inches. So I'm going to measure the paddle. Keep in mind however that the grip was two inches longer. So I'm going to go to five, six, which is somewhere around there, and I'm going to go eight inches more because two inches of that is going to be the paddle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to cut this paddle at that point with my marker. Again, it doesn't have to be exact, but we want it to be somewhat exact. Now I'm going to take my pipe fitter cutting tool, and this is very simple. With carbon fiber, all you have to do is you have to wrap the tool around, you loosen it up so you can wrap the tool around the shaft and get it so that it's right in the middle of these two fitters. And then you gradually tighten it up. You don't want to tighten it too much because the carbon fiber will split. So you just tighten it a little bit and then you start making turns. You can hear if you listen closely that it's actually cutting and you can see that I'm making a little line there. Once I go all the way around then I'm going to just tighten it a little teeny bit more go around again you can hear it's cutting again try not to tighten too much just take your time with it I'm going to tighten one more time go around and this is giving me a nice clean cut one more time Again, just take your time. You don't want to do this quickly and have it splinter on you or break the pole in the wrong place. You can hear it's cutting. You can feel it. There we go. And I got a fairly nice clean cut there. Okay, now I'm going to get my rubber piece and I'm going to slide it on because if I put it, I won't be able to fit it on afterwards. So I'm going to slide it down here so that when I put the handle on properly with the epoxy, I'm then just going to slide this back up into place. Now I'm going to take the steel wool. This might be, this feels pretty coarse, but if it weren't very coarse, what I would do is I would just buff this up a little bit so the epoxy can grab the handle just a little bit better. So I want to explain the handle for a minute. These handles have a shape that actually will fit your hand in your finger. The, in your fingers. The fatter part always goes in your palm and then your fingers wrap around to this thinner part. This is kind of important. I'd hate for you to put this on and put it on backwards. When we put this on the paddle, it's really important. Everyone thinks that the paddle is bent this way with the logo towards us. In reality, when you paddle, you're paddling, you see how there's a bend, the bend is going away from you, our logo is going away from you. Okay, so when I put it in, if I'm paddling this way, I want to make sure that I put it in properly. The fat part is going to be in my palm, my fingers are going to be on top, so my fingers are basically going to be on the same side as our logo. Okay, again, this is quick drying epoxy, so when you're ready, you do it. Until then, don't undo it, don't uh, squirt it out of the bottle. This is made so that you push it down and it's equal parts. You don't need a tremendous amount. I'm going to show you how much we really need. So I'm pressing it out. I would say that's probably more than enough. So just kind of dry it off and then put your um, lid back on right away. 
Okay, now I take the straw and I mix it all together. It doesn't make epoxy till the pieces, two compounds, are mixed together. I think a better tool to mix this together, really quite frankly, are popsicle sticks, which you can get at a craft store or at a drug store or a hardware store. I'm going to put some in the end here and just squish it around. Okay, I'm going to put this underneath just so it doesn't get on the table. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the grip handle. I don't get it all the way up to the front top because it's going to get pushed there automatically and then you're going to have a lot of excess. So I put it mainly from the middle down knowing that it's going to get pushed in this direction. Really important, remember, turn the paddle around so that the logo is on top. You feel it in your hand, making sure your fingers are on top. And then gently slide it in, kind of twisting it and turning it along the way. I'm wiping off the excess. I'm not that concerned with the excess because the tape is going to, the rubber piece is going to come over the top of it. And then what I do is I try to line it up. So. I'll put it on the floor and then I'll turn the handle and I'll make sure everything's parallel, that the handle is parallel with the blade. And what I do is I slide this up. You have to hold the handle down and slide up the tape, the rubber. And then I check it again. I just want to line it up. It's so important. If this thing is twisted, you're going to have unhappy customers. And there you go. This is going to dry. I would say they can't get it in the water for about 24 hours. It's as simple as it is. You need a pipe fitter, a pipe cutter, epoxy, napkins, paper plates, and that's about it.